Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Tyler, do you want to tell our friends at home what you said I looked like? Well, you kind of matched the, the blue-green algae background. He said I looked like cyanobacteria. <laughs> well, it could be like a St. Patrick's Day <laughs> thing, too. I, the green looks good, though, I think. I'd say I look like a lime. A lime. You know yeah. what? A lime in a drink right now would be pretty good. It would. On a hot day like today? Sure yeah. would. How about this? Uh, I know we're inside, but a little bit of a way to enjoy the warmth out there. I've always thought maybe Stu could park his boat there if he gets one uh, one day. Temperature in North Hero right now is 84, so a little bit cooler right near the water. We did have a high of 92 in Burlington. That was set at 227 this afternoon, and it was a record. Look at the water temperature in Lake Champlain. Here we are, first week of September, the water temps going up after such a cool and rainy summer. Even Swanton at 90, St. Albans at 90 right now, and then down the road, Really, no one left out of this, and it is fascinating to see how entrenched we are in the humid air mass. Usually, the edge of it is somewhere near us, but we're so late in the summer that even hundreds of miles north and west of Montreal, we've got this real thick air, even in the St. Lawrence Valley. Uh, the point being that there's no easy exit out of what we're in right now. It's a slow uh, drop in the humidity as we go through the weekend, but no showers on storm tracker. Such a relief after what we went through over the summer. It seemed like any time it was a little bit warm, we had a town with flash flooding, and we simply don't have that right now. There is a little flash flood risk as we go into tomorrow. You can see a few storms there out by Toronto, and then on the other side of the screen, right side, that right there is what's left of Idalia. Remember how that went through Florida? It's still spinning there off of Nova Scotia. So uh, pretty cool to see on satellite. Now here's future cast for tomorrow. The thinking is all good in the morning with sunshine. Could be hitting 90 tomorrow if you don't get hit by a thunderstorm in the afternoon. It's one of those situations if one blows right over your thermometer at 1 o'clock, you're not hitting 90. However, if it waits till 5, you probably do hit 90 tomorrow. And there will be a few little thunderstorms around at 3 and 4. But really what's catching our eye is the potential for later tomorrow. Look at this, 10 o'clock tomorrow evening. It's possible we've got quite a line of thunderstorms that may have damaging wind and hail involved. But this would be very late in the day tomorrow, 10, 11 o'clock at night. That all falls apart and we reset Friday morning with a dry situation. And then there'll be a few more thunderstorms on Friday. Possibly not much organization though on Friday. So a couple of towns could end up with a real nice day, still humid, still very warm, but not super wet. That's how it's looking right now. This is the severe thunderstorm risk for tomorrow. It is a level two out of five in the yellow shading, which is a sizable area here. It covers most of northern New York, a lot of Vermont, into New Hampshire. So needless to say, we will have our eyes glued to the radar, especially late tomorrow for that dam uh, damaging wind potential with the line of thunderstorms. So 90 tomorrow, 86 on Friday, falling into the 70s on Saturday and Sunday. Not washouts, but they are impact weather days because there will be downpours and thunderstorms, at least from time to time. Got all kinds of parade action this weekend, Saturday in Plattsburgh, Sunday in Burlington, and then 70s next week.